<laughs> Hi everyone, <laughs> I'm Rue. Stories are the most amazing thing. Reading or watching a story can show you what it's like to be an explorer. <laughs> I found a treasure. Or, or an astronaut. One small step for Rue. Or a member of an underground news team. You also have your very own story though, and it's super important. Today, we're gonna learn a little bit more about Gabby's story in The Source. Let's watch and see what happens. Trixie, check this out. Okay, so for each thing the ball bounces off of, you get a point, okay? One, zero. Okay, let me try. <sighs> that actually worked. Oh, nice, good job, three points. Okay, everybody stop what you're doing. I was just undercover at the library. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's gotta be at least five points. <laughs> Are we done? Yeah, what's up? Well, while you were in here playing games. Uh, it's called Trash Ball. Great game. I made it up, by the way. <clears throat> anyway, I found a stack of these in the library. It's a copy of the paper. Exactly. I am so confused. They're in the library because we put them there. We put them there two weeks ago, and they're just sitting there. People aren't taking us seriously. So you suggest we do what? I think we need to work harder. Make this a more legit paper. I'm noticing you just said work harder. That sounds like more work. That's because it kind of is. Trixie, say something. Hey, Gabby. Um, I don't know if you realize this, but we are an underground newspaper, and... Part of the fun of this was being chill. I know, but we can be more professional. Look, it's not a lot of changes. I just, I think we can be better. All right. I mean, if you wanna try to make us more legit, that's fine with me. What? The changes aren't that bad. And if it means more people are gonna read the paper, then I'm cool with it. Thanks, Trixie. Okay, fine, but. Do I have to follow one more rule? I'm going on strike. Do you even know what a strike is? No, but I think it's like not working. And I'm all about not working. <laughs> <laughs> what happened in here? I decided to make this place look like a real newsroom. Okay. Uh, what's up with the clocks? Oh. Every newsroom has them. They let us know what time it is in different time zones. <laughs> Gabby, we don't need to know the time in Bulgaria. But it is professional, and that is what we're striving to be. We are you. Okay, is there anything else? <gasps> Four more minutes, Mom. Bowie, you're already up. Oh, sorry. Just a reflex to alarms. Why is there an alarm? It's for the start of writing time. Writing time? Yes. We will have 20 minutes of uninterrupted writing time. Oh, hold up, excuse me? It will help us focus on our writing. There's a little bit too much playing around that goes on in here. What? The trash ball! It's in the trash. Uh, Gabby, I think your changes have gotten out of hand. Okay, I'm only doing this because we need to be more disciplined. Discipline gets awards. Discipline gets respect. Discipline makes a good paper. Okay, but... You can't- I don't have time for this, okay? I have interviews to conduct. I expect two articles from each of you by the time I get back. Okay, but I'm in the mid. I think things have officially gotten out of hand. You think? What is Gabby's deal? This is so not like her. I don't know. 
I think this is Gabby. I mean, she's always kind of intense. No, there's definitely a story behind this. There are 10 minutes left of writing time. No, 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 I don't have anything to write on. Gabby around? No. Perfect. Oh. I can finally relax. Ha, huh. do you hear that? The buzzing of the basement? Silence. Oh, I knew it. It's like she's monitoring us from another room. It's the old days. Whoa. What's happening here? Mr. Corbin, we created a monster. Hey, you didn't experiment on Mr. Gibbles the guinea pig, did you? No, Mr. Gibbles is fine. For now. Well, you all look stressed, and since Gabby isn't here, I'm going to assume that this is about her. <sighs> she's acting like she's a teacher, and this is her class. Really? Yeah, she wants to be more professional. We're an underground newspaper, Mr. C. We need to be free. Right. Oh, that's new. Wow. It's writing time, Mr. Corbin. And do you know what we do during writing time? What's that? We write whatever comes into our minds. And then she grades us on it. Do you know what she gave me last time, Mr. Corbin? An F. An F. When did she become a teacher? It's really getting crazy in here. Mr. C, you need to help us. Did you guys ask her why she's making these changes? Yeah. She said she wants to make it more professional. Got it. So you'll talk to her first, right? No. What? But, wh Mr. Corbin, why? I'm gonna let you guys handle this. Mr. C, we need your help. What do we do? You're asking the wrong question. It's not, what do we do? You need to ask Gabby why she's acting this way. Well, that's easy. It's because she wants everything, like, perfect. Let me put it another way. Bowie, when you got in a fist fight with Jesse, was there another reason? Well, yeah, it was my dad. Move to another country. Okay, and Trixie, when you got upset with Gabby about the Dover interview, was it really about the interview? Well, no, but I was going through a tough time and my mom got sick. Okay, so just like you both had reasons you acted differently, there's a reason that Gabby's acting this way. Did you even ask her how she's doing? Or did you just get mad? Well, we got mad, Bobby, but I just... He's right. Gabby is our friend and we don't even know her story. Actually, I don't know anything about her. See, when you don't take the time to understand someone, you'll never know why they do certain things or how they feel. Okay. Discover her story, that's your challenge. <sighs> that sentence is awful. It needs another word. Okay. Where's the Wi-Fi? What happened to the Wi-Fi? Please don't do this now. Please don't do this now. Okay. Okay, Gabby, it's fine. Just get a dictionary. This is a newsroom. Where are our dictionaries? Um, I think it's in the front shelf. Thank you. Um, you doing okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just have a lot to do. Can't stop, won't stop. I get it. No, I don't think you do. My parents do not like failures, and when they saw my grade in English class, they were furious. Gabby, it was just a C. You don't know my parents. A C is failure. They're the best of the best. My dad travels the country giving speeches and my mom has won every award for her writing. <laughs> Do they sleep? <laughs> no. I don't think I've ever actually seen them rest. I just can't let them down. Gabby, you do a lot. You're on the honor roll and you helped create this paper. I think you're fine. No. Look, when I broke down on the announcements, I embarrassed my mom. 
she doesn't even go here. No, but her friend's kids do. I hear it all the time. Samantha Stone never would have done that. Uh, Mrs. Packer's son was just elected president. I can't take it. I mean, who could? You're going through a lot. Yeah, but you went through a rough time and you always seem so cool and chill. How do you do it? <laughs> Honestly, when I found out my mom was sick, I, I wanted to keep it all inside. Then I almost exploded, but I found God and it helped. Okay, that's great for you. But I, I cannot do that. Do you know my parents would freak out if I believed in God? Wait, really? Yeah. They think God is a made up thing so people have something to blame when things go wrong. But God helps you? Yeah. Whenever I'm upset or stressed, I talk to him. And I can't really explain it, but it helps a lot. But that doesn't make sense. That's just a feeling. You can't see God. Okay, but you can't see air either, but you can feel it. Good point. I just don't want to give my parents another reason to be disappointed. Gabby, you're good. You're smart. You can't put this pressure on yourself. Oh, it's my mom. What were you saying about pressure? But thanks for asking me to see if I'm okay. Anytime. Hey, God. I know when we talk, I usually talk about me. But I was just wondering if you can let Gabby know that you care about her too. Thanks. You're kind of awesome, by the way. Whoa, learning about Gabby's life story makes so much sense. Some of you might feel like she does. Every one of us has a story. I do. You do too. Our stories are made up of everything that happens in our lives, the choices we make and the things that we do. Um, uh, Rue? I don't think I like my story. I've felt that way too. Sometimes we might feel like our lives are boring, too sad, or too difficult, but the truth is, your story is fascinating. No one else on earth has the exact same story as you, and God has an amazing plan and story that is all your own. I realized this a little while ago. I wanna become an actress, and in order to do that, I have to take some classes at school, but I couldn't afford those classes. Even though it was something I really wanted and I was passionate about and I feel like God gifted me in, I didn't know what I was gonna do. But God put people in my life to give me the opportunity to have those classes paid for and go to school. I hadn't seen it before, but God cared about my story, every part of it. That's one of the things God's son Jesus showed people too. In the book of John, in the Bible, we can read about a time when Jesus stopped to take a rest. Wait, 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 wait. Jesus rested? Wasn't he like Superman or something? Not exactly. Jesus was God's son and he was amazing, but he was also completely human, like you or me. He got tired, he got hungry, and had feelings just like all of us. While Jesus was resting by a well, a place where people could get water, a woman walked up. Suddenly, Jesus asked her for a drink. Uh, hi, do I know you? That's when Jesus started telling her a story, her story. He knew all about her, how she was feeling, her hopes, her dreams, and even all the wrong choices she had made. If I were her, I'd be super freaked out. Jesus knows all my mistakes. I bet he can't stand me. I'd wanna run and hide. Mm -mm but Jesus wasn't angry with her. In fact, he wanted this woman to know that he cared about her, 
No matter where she was from, no matter how popular she was, and no matter how many wrong things she had done, when she realized that Jesus knew her whole story and still loved her, she told everyone she could find. Jesus didn't just know her story. He cared about every single part of it. That's still true today. In fact, Jesus cares about your story. He knows all about you and loves you. Nothing that has happened, nothing you've done can change how much he loves you. That's the reason I've decided to follow Jesus with my whole life, because no one else loves me like he does. Thank you guys so much for watching. Can't wait to see you next week on The Source.